Ever heard of prolapsed intervertebral disc? No? Well, you're not alone. This condition, often abbreviated as PID, is when the discs between our spine bones, also known as vertebrae, slip out of their usual position. Picture a stack of coins. If one coin slides off to the side, it disrupts the stability of the whole stack. That's essentially what happens to our spine when a disc prolapses. This can result in discomfort, pain, and in some cases, more severe complications. Now, you might be wondering, how does this happen? The truth is, it can be due to a variety of factors. Aging naturally wears down the discs, making them more prone to slipping. An injury can force a disc out of place, and poor posture over the long term can also contribute to a prolapsed disc. So, now that we know what prolapsed intervertebral disc is, let's delve into why it happens. So, why does prolapsed intervertebral disc occur? The reasons can be many. It can be due to heavy lifting or sudden movements that put a strain on your back. Imagine the discs between your spine bones being pushed out of place because of an unexpected load or a sharp twist. Not a pretty picture, right? Another common cause is prolonged sitting or standing without breaks. This puts undue pressure on your spine, potentially leading to a prolapse. You may also be surprised to know that even ignoring minor discomfort or pain in your back can lead to this condition. So don't brush off that nagging backache as just a bad day. The good news is, there are ways to prevent it. These include maintaining a good posture, doing exercises to strengthen your core muscles, and using proper lifting techniques. Now that we know the causes, let's discuss how to prevent it. Prevention is better than cure, but what if you're already experiencing symptoms? Let's talk about that. Symptoms of a prolapsed intervertebral disc include persistent back pain, especially if it radiates to your legs. It's not just a dull ache, sometimes it's a sharp, stabbing sensation. You might also experience numbness or weakness in your limbs. In severe cases, you could have trouble controlling your bladder or bowels. These symptoms are your body's way of telling you that something's not right. Don't ignore them. If any of these signs sound familiar, it's time to consult a doctor. While you're getting treatment, remember to maintain good posture. It's not just about standing tall. It's about sitting, moving and lifting correctly too. Strengthen your core muscles with exercises. They're your body's natural corset, providing support to your spine. Remember, ignoring these symptoms can lead to complications like nerve damage or loss of mobility. Your spine is vital, so take care of it. If you're experiencing any of these signs, don't hesitate to consult a doctor. Your spine will thank you later.